Tuesday, November 9th, 2021. Early morning today. Folks hit the rise and shine at 6 a.m. because it was time to go to St. Francis Hospital for in-person orientation day one. In order to get myself ready for that day, I wanted to have a good hearty breakfast of orange chicken and rice. No, I don't do the typical breakfast on big days like these of oatmeal, eggs, bacon. No, no, no. I prefer leftover dinner for breakfast. And the best leftover dinner you can have for breakfast is orange orange chicken and rice. Unfortunately, there was no Brussels sprouts like last night, but that's okay. Got in the car, it was freezing cold, so I cranked the heat up and I felt good then when it was time to drive to the highway to get to St. Francis Hospital in Hartford. Now, I'm loving the fact that I don't see any traffic. Every time I've ridden to St. Francis so far, I haven't gotten any traffic, so let's keep that trend up. If you hate traffic, feel free to leave a like. Even though I hit no traffic though, I was obviously late. I was supposed to be there at 7.30, but I got into the parking lot at 729 and I had to walk all the way to the building and meander through the halls until I could find the room that the orientation was going to be in. Thankfully, I wasn't the last one, though. There were some other people that caught up with me and we all walked in late together and it was okay. The nurse there, one of the nurse leaders, showed me how to punch in and everything. And then I sat down in the classroom. I took my seat in the back right corner. I love sitting in the back because that means there's no attention on me whatsoever. Now, every time I enter one of these orientations, I look around around the room to see the type of people I'm going to be working with. I always look for some cute girls because if there's cute girls working with me, that's even more motivation to do a good job and it's people to talk to, people to practice talking to as well. Even if the girl's got a boyfriend, you could still talk to her. Maybe she's going to change her mind, you know? Because you know these girls are not loyal nowadays. You could be the guy that changes a girl's mind and makes her dump her boyfriend. I'm sure you'd feel bad, but you'd also feel kind of good because that makes you the alpha male. Unfortunately though, not many cute girls in the class Classroom. If I'm thinking right, it was actually zero. Zero cute girls in the classroom. What am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have this nursing job, and I'm going to be screwed not having anybody to talk to. Because let's be real here. For some reason, lots of male nurses are kind of jerks. I don't want to be like that. Every time I've tried to talk to a male nurse, they seem to not want to talk or have fun talking. Maybe I just need to earn their respect or something. I have no idea how that works. The most success I've had is talking to younger college age or new grad nurses who are my age. Honestly, it's just easier to talk to people your age. If you're working with people who are already into their 40s, 50s, 60s, have kids and everything, what are you going to relate to them about? All they talk about is their kids, their families, their vacations. I really don't care about any of this stuff. I'd rather talk to you about like what's going on in the news or what plans you have for your single life. That's about all I'm interested in. Even though I was a bit disappointed, I still had to do my due diligence and pay attention to this whole presentation that was going on. There's a bunch of random stuff they talked about, like the St. Francis mission the chaplain, the different roles, blah, 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 blah. I kind of just zoned out a bunch of times, unfortunately. It's hard for me to pay attention to things like these. I need interaction. I need people to talk to. I need some sort of, like, movie to watch or whatever. It's got to be, like, very fun, very entertaining. I like jokes. If you're a presenter, throw some jokes in there. But the whole thing just dragged on until it was lunchtime. When it was lunchtime, stupid me, I did not bring my own lunch, and I didn't feel like paying for lunch, so I kind of just sat there, and then I realized, what? I got to go to the gift shop to pick up my scrubs. About a month ago, I was at the St. Francis gift shop after my interview and I asked them if they could put some scrubs aside for me. And that's what they did. When I showed up to the gift shop, I talked to the manager lady and she came out with two pieces of scrubs that are all mine. Thank God because all the scrubs left in the store were like double extra large, triple extra large. That's not going to fit me. I need a adult medium men's size. And that's what this lady had for me. So I gave them my gift voucher. They charged it. It cost like 52 bucks for two scrubs thank god i had this voucher so i didn't have to pay out of pocket and i was on my weary way back up to the classroom to enjoy the rest of the presentation the rest of the afternoon was all epic training if you don't know what epic is you're obviously not in healthcare but it's the software computer program that hospitals use to document patient information so all the stuff that you do as a nurse a doctor a technician that all gets documented into epic you also get your tasks via Epic. It is a streamlined workflow for the healthcare system. I like it a lot, actually. If a hospital doesn't have Epic, I'm not working there. I need my hospital I'm working at to have Epic, otherwise I'm not interested. So the thing is, this is like my third time in my life doing Epic training, because I've done it at Middlesex twice, and this is my third time doing it at St. Francis. I'm pretty well versed in Epic, I think. There's obviously more stuff to learn. The presenter was really good, and he showed me some more stuff, 
But obviously it's another class, so it's just boring overall. There's nothing you can do to change the boringness, especially of a computer class. But I did my best to entertain myself. During the breaks, I talked to this other new grad nurse. She's a girl. Her name's Melissa. I talked to her about random stuff, and I occupied my time doing that. I don't like to sit on my phone all the time and look awkward. I'd rather just talk to somebody. So I talked to this girl. She's pretty nice. She's going to be working at St. Francis, too. It's going to be her first nursing job. So it's good to connect on that level. When the day ended, her and I actually walked walked out together we went to the parking lot and then we went our merry way she went home to wherever she's from and i went to the post office down the road thank god this post office closes at five because i got there at 4 30 however the post office workers were really freaking pissed off when they saw me with these two huge boxes of packages i really hate when they get mad about this stuff if you're a worker and you're open to a certain time don't get mad at people for coming in when you're still open don't do that okay i have scan forms for you to make your job easier all you have to do is scan the scan forms you don't have to scan any of the packages you just have to put them in the hamper don't get mad at me she was like raising her voice at me and saying you can't put that box there and then i'm like well it's open there's packages inside and then she realizes she's like oh screw you come on jesus like let me do my thing okay you do your thing if you hate your job so much go find a new job for real there's so many jobs out there right now so take a chill pill okay it's fine i just hope they don't lose my packages on the way home i started listening to music to calm myself down but i got a phone call from mr josh grooms now mr josh grooms over the past two days has told me that he was going to be calling insurance companies or insurance agents to ask them about insurance for these donations bins were interested in buying unfortunately though he gave me some bad news the insurance agent that was supposed to give him an answer never got back to him he called today and they said that they were going to give him a call back in an hour and guess what they flaked they never called him back if you're an insurance agent and that's how you do business oh screw you you are losing money i don't know if they do bonuses in the insurance system but you are not getting a bonus miss so i was a little bit upset to hear that josh was too but that's the way life goes sometimes however josh and i still think that it's a good idea to just pull the trigger and buy these donation bins. Josh talked to the guy who's selling them in Pennsylvania and he gave me the details on how much they cost. They're going to be about 300 per bin. That's discounted from the original 450 price. So that means $1,800 for six bins split halfway. Plus we got to pay for a rental truck to go to pick them all up. It's going to be a lot of investment, but the payout can be huge, especially if we can find the logistics on how to pick up all the stuff that's put in these bins on a weekly or even bi weekly basis so josh and i talked more about logistics and we agreed that we want to go up to pennsylvania next week to pick them up we agreed on tuesday because that's when i'm off the schedule for saint francis yes i'm starting full time next week my first day is going to be monday and then from there it's going to be three days a week we will see how it goes okay so i was happy to make some progress with mr josh grooms we are going up there on tuesday to get the bins well tentatively on tuesday we'll see what else happens things change all the time in business i got home still talking to him i told him i'm going to be going to the warehouse so maybe i'll see him there however first i had to eat some more food and guess what mom made another bag of orange chicken to my delight and some more rice damn three meals in a row of orange chicken am i sick of it yet hell no orange chicken never gets old so i ate that food then i uploaded a video on youtube because nobody from my family is home so i figured i might as well use the bandwidth on the wi-fi to upload a video so that when they come home it's probably done uploading i also sent an email to one of the real estate agents that i got in contact with last week regarding the donation bins he asked for an email regarding information on the bins where we want to put them what they'll look like the sizes and so forth so i sent him that email hope to get a response tomorrow or the day after if i don't i'm just going to end up calling the guy once that email was all set i went on over to the warehouse it was time for me to package the orders to be sent to the post office tomorrow i'm gonna have to go to the same post office that i went today because tomorrow's another saint francis day so those ladies are gonna get pissed to see me but guess what i don't care you can f off got the orders packaged ready to go gonna bring them down to the car soon and now i'm sitting here filming this video ready to go home and go to sleep early because tomorrow's gonna be another bright and early morning i will let you know how day two of this orientation in person goes till then peace out